tell me, do I look normal to you? Do I look average? Ted Bundy looked average. Ted Bundy looked normal. That's how he got all of the girls. I wear the white tennis shoes and the chinos and the white shirt with the open collar. But I never get the girls. I, f I follow the girls sometimes. I will follow them closely, making sure they don't come to harm. Some bad people like to say that I stalk them, but I'm looking after them. And sometimes I manifest and make myself clear to them and tell them that I have been protecting them. And they are not welcome. They do not appreciate my guardianship, and so I, I, I feel inclined to strike them hard. I feel inclined to beat them down. I feel inclined to stomp them and make them grateful for my presence, because while, while I may not be hideous to physically behold, they, they seem to think that I am my mian, my, my ambience, my very personality is somehow disturbing and unhinged and uncomfortable, unnatural. That is what the girls don't like about me. The boys as well. I've tried looking after the boys too. But this is just a mask. This is just another face that I put on. You know, Ted Bundy wore many masks. He was a master at it. We Nosferatu are masters at wearing masks. We can look however we choose. We can wear whatever face we want to. In truth, all kindred wear masks. We are all concealing what we are. The Nosferatu stand out because, like characters such as Bundy, and unlike the other kindred, we can remove our mask and show those who we wish to frighten a little our true selves. We can take the mask from our face and we can show them what they do not wish to see. Nosferatu are masters of nightmare. I, I give the girls nightmares. I give the boys nightmares too. I, sometimes I can't help it. Sometimes I'm just following so close by that they can't help but imagine that there's some great horror nearby and all I'm looking to do is protect them. But other times, other times we choose to do it. Other times we make them think of their worst fear. Other times we make them imagine they're crawling with spiders or maggots or snakes or who knows what. We make the room darker than it actually appears, at least to their minds we do. We make it feel like they are stood upon a precipice waiting to fall off. We control nightmares. Vampires, kindred, are to be feared, but we control fear. We are the masters of fear. And, mistresses, let us not neglect the female members of our clan, although identifiable as female they may not be. <laughs> to be fair, the males among our clan are largely androgynous as well. The older we get, the less human we appear. Some Nosferatu, when embraced, manifest physical symptoms to make themselves hideous. They do not choose it, but some will lack eyes, will lack ears. Some will have such pasty skin you can practically see through it. Some their jowls will hang so low they will resemble a dog. Others... Their limbs grow extraordinarily long, their trunk staying the same. 
you've heard the tales of the Slender Man and other urban legends. Well, they are just legends, but I have known more than one Nosferatu to resemble such a creature, so pale, so chalky white, and yet so stretched from foot to head. Hmm, unnaturally so, but not all of us are terrifying to behold. Some of us are just frightening to, to be in the presence, to share the presence of an Nosferatu can be frightening in its own right. Some of us, I've been known to leave maggots behind me crawling just if I stand still for too long a time. The plants can start rotting, the window can grow chilled, the air can leave a room and leave an atmosphere of palpable dread, and sometimes we want this. Do not be mistaken into thinking that I am a Ventru afflicted with Malkavia or anything of the like, you see. And good Nosferatu keeps an opponent guessing. We have many opponents. We are outcasts, undoubtedly. We are referred, perhaps derisively, to as the Haunts, although, frankly, it is one of the better nicknames that we have acquired over time. I, for instance, some would consider that I am a weak neonate. And why wouldn't I want them to think that? Why wouldn't I want them to think that I begrudge my powers? Others think that I am some intellectual mastermind and social duelist. <laughs> a Nosferatu social duelist. It is because we are masters of the mask that we can do this. Nightmare is a great mask. Obfuscate is a greater one. Oh yes, we can hide in plain sight. We can change our appearance. We have many devotions that allow us to do various and sundry things. My favourite allows me to take on the form of my prey's worst fear. Try doing it to an errant prince or other high-ranking vampire. It works on them too. Watch as they wrote Shrek when they see that father that abused them whilst they were mortal. Of course we are also possessed of a certain vigour. We can smash a skull, we can break a fist through a chest. I never meant to hurt her though, I merely meant to shove her. But after I'd hit her once and she told me to stop, how dare she tell me to stop? How dare she just ask? Does she not know who I am? I've followed her for so long, how could she have not noticed me? How could she have rejected me time and time again? I had to show her who I was. I had to frighten her. I had to put her in her place. Of course, everyone needs to be put in their place. The Nosferatu, or Nosophoros, as we were once known in ancient Greece, we were the diseased ones. Some of us are known for carrying disease, and I can tell you in a way of a history lesson that the Nosferatu, well, while we have many legends ascribed to our origins, my favourite is that a particular bloodline of kindred, original clan unknown, decided that they would burrow into the dark, deep earth and feed upon some chthonic entity within. When they emerged, the Nosferatu clan emerged as said. Now, is this true? It sounds very apocryphal. I've heard other tales that bodies sprung out of graves, that Snow White was somehow involved. I've heard tell that we were not even around around the era of Mesopotamia, although I'm not so old as to say, and yet other clans were. Some consider the Nosferatu to be young, and yet we were there in ancient Rome, we were there in Greece, and we were there in Egypt. So how young is young on a relative scale? Now, Nosferatu blood does, of course, create the occasional bloodline. I say occasional, we are among the most prolific, or at least the most pronounced. There are Ventru and Mechet bloodlines that I am familiar with that vaguely 
look like an offshoot. Most of the time they resemble their primary clan, and that is no bad thing. We have bloodlines that are completely stricken blind, who can burrow like worms through the ground. We have a bloodline that is so fearful of light that they not only dwell beneath the earth, but if they dwell far enough beneath the earth, they can walk around in the day as if the sun was not even up. I make no joke about this. The Rakshasa of India, that is how the Nosferatu are known over there, are all hideous to behold, and yet they are possessed of great abilities. Some say of illusion, others say of mental dominance. I've yet to meet one, but I understand that they are quite terrifying even to our own kind. Of course there is always the tale that there are cannibals among the Nosferatu, entire bloodlines dedicated to it, the Noctuku being preeminent among them, that our progenitors were the same. I cannot rightly say, but I know, I know that I am being followed and I, I know that something is pursuing me, that I have seen so many nightmares that the nightmares afflict me now, that really all it was was a manifestation of my subconscious, and really all I am doing is terrifying myself now. There, there's no escape. I am, I am in a labyrinth of my own creation, and I need help. You need help. You need help when Nosferatu is coming for you. Some ask rather brazenly, what position can outcasts hold in kindred society? Well, we, we can do many things very usefully. We can spy, we can, we can, we can hit really hard, and we can, we can chill someone to the bone. We can make their hair turn white with fright, and <laughs> so much more. The Mechets style themselves as information gatherers. Maybe so. We like to disseminate that information, though more useful to be able to do such a thing, and we can hide just as well, if not better, than the Mechets are capable of detecting us. Oh yes. We make for wonderful spies, information brokers. Of course we do. That is our nature. But we also make for fantastic tunnelers. We make for brilliant priests and bishops and princes. Oh, you don't think so because we are Nosferatu. Because we are not possessed of majesty or domination like some of our other peers. All you need is for your subjects to fear you. Why do I cling to the long hair et sanctum? Well, it's because Longinus told us that we are God's chosen predators, that we should be making our prey fear us, and which clan is feared more than the Nosferatu? We hold pride of place in that August Covenant. We are Longinus' chosen, while there will be some clans that would disagree. I can certainly sympathise with the Circle of the Crone and their point of view as well. Apex Predators. That's us. We hunt the others. And we do it far better than some gangrel sniffing at the ground or Mechet hiding behind a book. We have nothing to fear but fear itself. As we are fear itself, where does that put us? Where does that put you? I have known many Nosferatu that are not frightening from a distance. I, I consider myself one, and yet, and yet, even when the largest man, the largest mortal, the largest immortal, is chest to chest with you, staring down, perhaps, with his extra foot of height, and trying to bully you, all you have to do is get inside his head with a nightmare. Even the bravest elder will run, quaking, pissing blood. <laughs> when you turn off the lights, it will be someone like me, stood in the corner of your room, watching you. And it will be someone like me, beneath your bed, Breathing softly. Oh, I can make myself breathe. It's a talent we Nosferatu have. I can spend the blood. 
can seem alive. And you might think that it's just a mortal serial killer beneath there and feel safe, maybe? Maybe it's a, one of the better ones. <laughs> maybe it's not some undead monster that wants to drink my blood and take me. <laughs> but it is. It is. It is. It very much is. So turn off those lights and look at those shadows and see if you can make us out. I promise I'll do nothing but watch. Unless you make a noise. <laughs>